Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will be showing you how to install OpenIV for LSPDFR. So the first thing you want to do is to watch my previous video. So what you want to do is get to this stage, so watch the previous episode and then come and watch this one afterwards. So then now you can see how to install OpenIV. So make sure it looks pretty similar to this, right? Um, sometimes you might have a mod folder if you've done it in a different way. Uh, but we'll do that in another episode. So what you want to do is have it like this. Make sure the one you're editing is called that. Otherwise it won't work. Make sure it's exactly like that. Yours could be a different uh, path, but um, it, it, it doesn't make any difference. Like I said in the other video, um, whatever your path is, is might, might be probably different than mine. Okay, so, um, so what you want to do now is now you've got all this. Uh, go to the link in the description, which is cool uh, to find it. It's called OpenIV. So what you want to do? Download this, right? And let wait for it to download. Then you want to open it up. Once it's opened, um, click your language. And then you want to read the license, accept it, continue. Then you want to uh, create a uh, desktop icon. It's probably easier, so then you can just click on it. Um, then it probably, you can install it to whatever drive you want to, but I think it's best to just to leave it on your normal, normal uh, default one. Just press continue. And it tells you how how big your size is, and then it say if you didn't have the size on your hard drive, then um, it, it it would tell you there. So you just click yes, and then wait for it to install. Right, once it's installed, just press close, and that bit's installed. So now, so now you've got OpenIV. It should come onto your desktop. It was on my other screen. That's why you couldn't see it. So just double click on that, wait for it to load up, and then click on the Windows one under GTA 5, click that, and then after that you have to try and find your Grand Theft Auto 5 location, so now when I showed you it here, this is your Grand Theft Auto 5 location, so what you want to do so if you click browse, it's dead then, and then uh, go to here and then click that one, select folder, and then you got it in, and it says successfully found GTA5.exe, and whatever version that might that version might be different than mine when you watch this, and it said this OpenIB can work with this, so just press continue. Make sure you back up your original files before editing. Just press continue. And then it's going to search for the encrypting code. Let's wait for it to do that. So once, it, once it's done that, it will come up with this. You can watch the video. Um, but you can uh, just watch this one. <laughs> so now you've got that. So this here is pretty much just showing what is inside here. If you want to know how I got this icon, if you go back here and go into the one you um, are editing now, right click, create shortcut, and then do that. Then come up here, just drag it on, and, drop, and then just drop it onto your, um, just drag it onto your desktop, and then you got one. And it's just, just so much easier just to click on that instead of going through all this path each time to get to this. Uh, folder here. So this folder here is exactly what this is here. Okay. Um, so that is pretty much how to install OpenIV. But first, before I finish this episode, um, you need to go to press Tools, ASI Manager. Then what you want to do is install all three of these. Sometimes you have this one installed, or sometimes you don't. Just literally install both of them, all of them. Just click yes. 
and then you will install that one as well and then that's all those three installed. If you don't do that your LSPD file won't work. Now that is it. So now as you can see it actually has created a mods folder on its own. Sometimes it doesn't just literally right click new folder click that and call it mods and then you're back at this stage. What you want to do then is your uh, update folder. What you want to do with your update folder, copy that, and then drop it into the uh, into the mods folder, what uh, OpenIV or you just created. Paste it in, and it will take a little bit of time, but that's the um, happiness of uh, editing for you guys, so you don't have to watch this. And I'll be back when it's done. Right, that, now that is done. Um, now, now you've got your update folder in here. So if you go into your mod folder in here, you can see that folder there. Now this is where you will be, um, tell you that in a sec. Um, so this is where you'll be adding all your, yes, I know. Just click that so that can stop keeping coming up. So this is where you can install all your vehicles and all the different handling lines for them and your uh, uh, visual settings and all that. I'll show you all those different things in a different video. But this is pretty much this video. Um, this is how you install uh, um, install OpenIV. So in the next episode, if you're following the playlist, um, it will be how to install a uh, install a vehicle pack. So stay tuned for that one. So this is literally all of it. Um, I'll explain how to use this in the next episode. Um, it's a little not, it's not too bad to use, but yeah, I've, that that is pretty much this episode. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, check um, check the link in the description for the OpenIV link and any other links in there. At my social media and that you can contact me if you need to. Um, there's a link in the description for Discord, so if you have any problems, then just message me on there and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.